Okay, so good morning to our uh, session for week seven of quarter three, and that is from May 3 to 7, 2021. Okay, so we're almost done with quarter three. So ayan, alas patapos na tayo. Uh, after this week, another week, and it's all over. Ayan. Then uh, last quarter na tayo of this school year. So in the end, we're, we've already uh, survived three quarters of this school year. Okay, so hopefully by uh, the last quarter, you know, uh, everything you're still lacking you know, from the uh, previous uh, quarters, you'll be able to uh, uh, comply them uh, and uh, be able to, uh, you know, cope up with your grades. Uh, so, syempre, ayaw naman namin may maiwan sa inyo. Uh, so, we're still giving you a chance, no? Kahit paggaling sa quarter one, iyan, ay uh, tatanggapin pa rin namin. Uh, so, kaya lang, syempre, uh, don't expect that you'll be uh, getting the highest possible grade for that quarter. Kasi nga, you know, you have submitted quite late na. No? So, but, but at least, of course, uh, it would still be accepted and it still be uh, graded. No? And uh, the chance to uh, to pass the subject will be, again, possible for you. No? So, submit lang ng submit. No? So, kami lang bahala mga teachers na magbigay ng... Uh, uh, appropriate considerations no? para sa inyong mga ano, uh, submitted outputs even though they are very late as of, uh, as of today, quarter three. No? So for this week, and ito lang ang inyong uh, topic no? according to your learning program schedule and my uh, teaching budget of works. No? For lesson two would be draft auxiliary systems and layout. Okay, so that is on uh, page 29 na, under page 34. Yan. Yan lang naman ang titignan nyo dyan sa ating module. This is module number 2. Ang gagamitin nyo na ay module number 2 for quarter 3. Na, and that is from page 29 to 34. Yan lang titignan nyo. Later, facilitate natin kung ano yung uh, laman ng, uh, ng module na yan na dapat nyo na-accomplish. Na, but uh, uh, in a nutshell, ito na yan. And for the objectives, na, our learning outcome for uh, this week is your draft auxiliary system in your life. Okay, so every uh, sub uh, competencies that you are uh, expected to, to at least uh, experience na, for uh, this week. Okay, so firstly, you simply read the technical terms on page 29 and 30. Okay, at least you, got, uh, you get familiar with the uh, different terms that we are going to uh, ex uh, encounter in this topic okay then right after that now you may study no now that is graphic symbols for auxiliary system that is on the uh succeeding page that uh, page 31 no? para ma anticipate nyo na rin no? kung paano yung mga activities or uh, skills required of you to create such symbols that you will be using in your plate number 11 by now. Uh, next week. Now, the magiging final uh, output niya kasi sa akin by next week is your plate number 11, which is your auxiliary system layout. Okay? Then right after, you may perform process, suggested activity 1 on page 32. Then, sunod niya yung uh, no naman ulit, basa-basa lang din ulit yan, fire alarm systems on pages 32 and 33. By the way, uh, speaking of fire alarm systems, I have a uh, included a video uh, discussion link about fire alarm systems or auxiliary systems on our uh, private group. Pakicheck nyo na lang. I've also uh, uh, sent the link of that video on our uh, in our GC. No? Check nyo rin yun. No? It, may, uh, it can give you uh, additional information and detailed uh, explanations about uh, fire alarm systems. No, na pwede makatulong sa inyo sa paggawa nyo ng plate. No? Yeah, kasi pag alam niyo yung background on how or and why we are uh, preparing fire alarm systems, no? gano'n siya ka-importante, no? you'll be able to uh, plan better your uh, layout so that it may serve its purpose to the fullest. No? Then, perform process test 1 and 2 on page 33 and 34. No? Yun na yung gagawin ninyo. Uh, uh, yan, nasa susunod na mga columns naman yung, ano dyan, yung uh, expected output or expected outcome for those. Yeah. Then accomplish activity 2 
Crafting Auxiliary Electric Plan on page 34. Okay, so medyo, ano lang, marami-raming drawing-drawing lang ito. Basa-basa na. But uh, of course, you have the whole week to work on that. Uh, hopefully, you've started already. No? So sana by this time, uh, patapos na kayo with the other activities. But of course, depending on the uh, your availability and your situations at home, it will uh, be uh, greatly valuing. No? So, okay, so for your expected outcome, no, for suggested activity number one, process uh, and uh, test one, and uh, suggested activity two, no, so lang naman, no, no, uh, you may use any given floor plan from the modules. No, copy lang kayo dyan mga floor plan na available, pwede lang yun na yung gamitin nyo. No? No? Or any lighting layout na pwede nyo ma-download from online. No? So, search na kayo ng lighting layout. Then, kunin nyo yung pinakasimple na. No? Pwede nyo na yun. No? Copy nyo lang yung floor plan. Then, uh, lagyan nyo na ng mga, ano, ng mga auxiliary system layout. No? And, and again, this will be done in a short bound paper. No? As our drawing paper. No? And, uh, yan. Uh, this is the, uh, supposed to be done the same with your plates. No? Parang ito, ito rin nyo rin ito na parang plates ninyo. No? Lagyan nyo rin yung borderline siguro. No? Then, pakilagay lang yung specific activity. No? Lagyan ng uh, ano, uh, uh, specific activity kung para saan yung ginawa ninyo na iyan. No? Para madali din sa akin para ma-check yan at nalaman kasi yung sulapat yung record no? at anong grade ang dapat i-delay dito. Now, but anyway, halos pare-pareho naman ang uh, ginagamit kong criteria. No? Yung, ano natin, yung four pillars naman natin ang ginagamit ko rin, which is the NALS or N-A-L-S, which is... Uh, Neatness, accuracy, legibility, and speed. I'm going to explain to naman yan dati, no? But if you have any other, uh, if you want me to explain, uh, explain that to you uh, in a more detailed manner, no? you can uh, just uh, send me a private message, no? Explain to naman dito yung kung ano yung ng lives. Okay? Then, process 2, syempre, uh, process test 2, no? Ano lang yan, lagay lang sa answer, sheet. uh, answer sheets ninyo yung inyong mga sagot. I guess 1 to 5 lang na tayo, no? Uh, hopefully, uh, no, uh, hopefully, no, you will use intermediate type papers. No, wag mag yellow paper kasi, you know, yellow paper has a different size, no, and most of your uh, hardbound envelopes are uh, short, no, short in size. So, kung mangyari, titiklopin nyo pa yung, ano, yung ating uh, yellow bound paper para, uh, yellow pad paper para lang maipasok sa inyong uh, hardbound envelope. No? So, pinakamaganda pa rin is intermediate type papers that's collected within siya. So, it's, uh, better to be uh, better to use that as your answer sheets. Na? Then again, uh, if uh, yeah, if you may want to, no, para you know, kung, kung kayo ay, uh, you know, you learn better by uh, taking down notes, no, you may opt to uh, write also, no, or jot down notes of the topic para mas maintindi. Na? And again, if, if if in case no, you're uh, not able to. Uh, accomplish this learning task during the uh, specified time frame. No, just inform me, and uh, let's uh, work on it, and let's uh, you know uh, think of ways to you know, uh, let's agree on uh, uh, another deadline maybe to uh, for you to comply with your activities. Now, para alam natin, alam ko rin kung you know ano yung mga challenges na kinakaharap niyo this time of the years. Uh, it's a pandemic, you know, even uh, after the three quarters, you know, para alam ko rin kung paano, paano i-adjust yung ating mga uh, activities at ating uh, uh, deadlines. Yeah? So let's now check on. Yeah? Uh, so again, I guess it's not possible for you to attend. So in any way, uh, I'm still, um, still uh, going on with this session. So uh, yeah, hopefully you'll we'll be uh, watching this. No? And if you're watching this right now, thank you so much. Yeah? At least, uh, hindi na sa sayang efforts na sa ninyo sa pag-record ng session ito. No? Then, <clears throat> let's uh, continue with the uh, module. No? This is uh, your lesson 2. This is the start of lesson 2. This is on page, uh, actually this is on page 28. No? Before uh, the, tech, uh, the, uh, the uh, technical terms. No? And, Ito yung inyong uh, auxiliary systems layout. No? Skills evaluation, kahit hindi na siguro ito, no? you may just skip this one. Also, the learning goals and targets. No? Meron naman na tayo doon sa 
uh, learning program schedule, no? kahit hindi nyo na i-accomplish. No? Ito na lang, you may start with your technical terms, no? pakibasa lang isa-isa. No? Uh, they are, uh, ano, ayan, pwede, pwede, pwede rin kayo mag, ano, kung ma-internet na lang, 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 lang din naman kayo, ano, yun, data, no? pakicheck nyo rin sa internet itong mga, uh, ano na to, uh, technical terms na to, kung medyo hindi pa ganang kalinaw para sa inyo yung mga definition ng mga ito. No? So, medyo marami, pero of course, uh, they are all related with the uh, the topic, no? and uh, it will help you better understand the uh, concepts uh, that lie in the uh, creation of your uh, auxiliary system layout. Okay, at the more symbols that are written. Now it's almost the same with your electrical symbols. No, they are only the schematic diagram symbols, meaning they are very simplified. No? in order for you to um, maximize storing time and uh, ease in interpretation of your plan or layout. No? So, para madaling mabasa. No? And, and, and then again, of course, you may opt to create your own uh, symbols. No? Pwede na makikuma ng symbols nyo. No? Just make it as uh, simple as possible. And make sure you uh, you provide a uh, legend no? for those uh, self-made symbols. No? Kung may gagawa kayo ng sarili ng symbols, no? yan. Okay, yan yung naman dyan. Uh, include that in your uh, legend para ano eh madali ding makita ng mga babasa ng mga uh, ano, layout no at madali ding mabasa. And again this is your uh, suggested activity. Ha? Huh? Bili na lang kayo ng ano niyo. And again this will not be possible so okay lang din naman yan. Now just uh, send it to me through PM pwede rin naman picture niyo na lang no or mas maganda pa rin syempre you submit that uh, your hard copy no? Para mas ano pa rin yung tawag so, dyan. Para mas ano pa rin natin yung oh, yun. Pwede pala ito sa uh, Wikipedia. No? So, yun. Mga katawa na. Nakikita natin ito sa galing yung mga ano, yung sa yung mga data natin sa atin or information sa ating module. No? So, this is for alarm systems and smoke detectors. No? And andit rin yung mga ano, key elements of the building code. Pakibasa lang din na. And, and if you have questions about this, na, just uh, jot them down, send it to me, and I'll explain this further to you. Kung uh, medyo mahirap pa siya yung tindihan. Pero I guess, uh, just watching the uh, video discussion about this, it will, help, it will help you definitely to understand these topics. Na? Then ito yung process na sinasabi natin kanina. So it's all about uh, drafting your fire alarm systems. Nagin yun lang yung fire alarm system. Na? Saan siya located? No? Yung nalalagay niya, saan siya makikita? Siyempre, doon siya sa pinaka uh, area na kung saan uh, it uh, will resonate the most. Ibig sabihin, uh, lugar kung saan marinig ng uh, buong kabahayan. No? Pagpas ilagay mo sa ilalim ng hagitan, hindi naman marinig pag mag-trip off yung, uh, yung fire alarm. Na? So hindi rin marinig na. So it would uh, almost be rendered useless. Then smoke detector, siyempre, huwag mo itatapat sa iyong kalan, no? Siyempre, kasi it usually generates smoke, no? Uh, pero siyempre, of course, smoke detectors are, uh, especially when they are uh, done, or it is made with, with uh, of good quality, they would not detect simply uh, smoke coming from the kitchen, no? It will detect smoke that is uh, generally coming from fire that is not, uh, commonly uh, uh, detected during uh, cooking. No? So, ayan, and for alarms. So, ayan, so ito, sagutan lang din naman. Again, if you, you can't answer them uh, straight away, you may just go back to the discussion and look for the answers there. No, one to five lang naman ito, tulad yung sabi ko kanina. Ayan. And we have um, so dyan, multiple choice for that. No? Multiple choices, I mean. So, hindi lang kayo dyan ang best answer. And right to letter of the correct answer. Then, suggested activity 2 is your, uh, ayan, aside from fire alarm, ayan, idagdag nyo na yung telephone outlet, buzzer bell. Now, so, come to think of it, na, pwede naman to save you time and uh, effort in working with these different uh, activities, no? pwede namang minsana na lang ito. No? So, suggested activity 1, suggested activity uh, 2, then your process, pwede namang isang 
activity na lang ito na pagsama-sama na lang natin. No? So parang kasi gradual lang, parang ang lumalabas kasi na as you can see, na if, you have, if you may have uh, observed, no? parang gradual uh, progression kasi yung paggawa nito. No? So simula ko sa pinakasimple, dadat ko tayo hanggang dinami yung components. No? Then you are now with activity, a suggested activity too. No? So pwede naman iyan. No? So may, you may use uh, other floor plans. No? Mas maganda yung isang buong floor plan. No? Para mas uh, uh, holistic yung inyong uh, uh, practice with this one. Okay? So again, if you have any questions about what, how to uh, do this uh, activity no, or this uh, learning task, again, I'm always available. You can just check me. Uh, you can send me a, a personal message. You can uh, text me. You have to give you my uh, contact number. Now, kung gusto niyo tawagan din ako, I, I, it's very much appreciated na no? kung okay, nabawala you are not disturbing me. No? Okay, may hiya. No? Hindi, hindi kayo nakaka-disturb. No? Anytime you feel that you need assistance with any of these topics or these activities, just, uh, just inform me. Okay? So, gawa natin ang paraan po sa kanya hiya. Okay? And ito, transfer sa matit test na ito, that is for uh, next week naman. Okay, yung plate number 11 na doon na sinasabi ko kanina. Okay, so I guess that is the end of uh, the session right now. Again, if you have any questions, uh, just, just send me and just, uh, just send me a, uh, a notification. No? So I'm just a text away or call away or chat away. Okay, so huwag lang kayong okay na idea ng pakilala lang kayong maayos. No? So yun na naman. Again, thank you so much for uh, watching this session.